This is the instructional video for MJET V1 and MJET V3, who are operated exactly the same. To prevent air from going backwards, you need to install a cable seal on the cable. We have two versions, divisible and standard. The standard one must have the open face towards the air so that the cable and the seal will be really airtight. It's important that the cable seal is really tight on the cable. If it's too loose, it will leak air backwards. Now attach a cable head to the tip of the cable. This will prevent stops in bad connectors, but also sheath explosions when air gets behind the sheath and make explosions by high pressure air. To get nice, clean and 90 degree cuts on the ducts, you can use jetting cutters. This is especially important in connectors. One of several enemies in fiber blowing is water and dirt inside the ducts. For that reason, it's important to clean and to lubricate ducts. The easiest way is to place a sponge provided by jetting inside the ducts and then send it all through the distance with low pressure air. When the sponge comes out clean and dry, it's time to lubricate. One way of doing this is to install the cable in the machine. This will prevent air from going backwards and send the sponge in the right direction. When you have learned the outer diameter of the duct and the outer diameter of the cable, you choose the correct duct clamp. Place the cable seal in the dedicated track. Then enter the duct and don't let it pass so that it will prevent air from going in the duct. Fasten it by the handle and make it airtight. When you turn on the air later, you might experience some air leakage, then a half a turn would be appropriate. By opening the air valve, the sponge will be sent in the right direction. This might take a while. When the duct is clean and dry, it's time to use lubrication. You choose the correct lubricant by the size of the duct. We recommend using the sandwich method. One sponge, lube, and finally a sponge or two. If you know the distance of the duct, there's a table on the bottle that tells you how many centimeters of lube to fill up. You measure this, you fill it up, and then you have one sponge or two to prevent it from coming backwards. Please tighten the belts on the cable, otherwise the cable will fly backwards.
When the duct is lubricated, it's time to start the machine up. The air control unit contains two parts, the red safety switch and the black valve for air to the motors. It is extremely important not to start the machine by the safety switch. You start the machine with the black valve. When you start your installation, start it without air to the ducts. You turn the air the motors to 0.2 megapascals and when you can see or hear the machine decreasing in speed then it's time to introduce the air start with as much air as you need to and then increase when you need to we emphasize that the safety switch is only for turning the machine off now shut the air valve by turning it counterclockwise. Please never exceed 0.6 megapascals on any machine. Increasing air to the motors means increasing speed and power. Always use the jetting pneumatic oil. It is supposed to drop three drops per minute and you regulate it by the transparent knob. Beside that container, we have a water container. That is the water separator. It's important to have it emptied 